The correct installation of a VSAT antenna is a fundamental process in order for the user to receive satellite content properly, thereby avoiding interferences that could be disruptive both for the operator and the user. With the help of this video tutorial and using ISPASAT's installation manual as a reference, the user will be able to easily and securely install their VSAT antenna. Once the installation has been successfully completed, they will be able to use their VSAT to access the portfolio of solutions and services offered by the company. Installation of VSAT system The installation you're going to perform basically consists of two components. One is the ODU or outdoor unit and the other is the IDU or indoor unit. ODU installation ODU components all of the elements that make up the ODU will have to be certified by ISPASAT and consist of the following pieces. One reflector, one support for the reflector, one antenna arm, two small supporting rods, two large supporting rods, one feed, one feed support, one LNB, one BUC or transmitter. In addition to these components, you will need to have two coaxial cables for TX and RX connectors. Tools for the installation. To install the ODU, the installer will need to have the following components. Compass, inclinometer, field meter, GPS, 7, 11 and 13 spanners, set of screwdrivers, Allen keys, self-bonding tape, outdoor tie wraps, and for the installation of the support, a drill, level, screws and wall plugs. Choosing the place to install the antenna. In order to correctly receive broadcasts from ISPASAT, the satellite dish may be installed on rooftops, balconies, walls or gardens, as long as they have a clear view towards the southeast or northeast, depending on whether it is located above or below the equator, and there should be no geographical obstacles that prevent a direct line of sight between the antenna and the ISPASAT satellites. Since the antenna also transmits, it is important to block off an area around it to make sure that people will not be passing through the radiation area of the antenna. Mounting the ODU To mount the ODU, you must first assemble the feed to the LNB and the transmitter. To do so, you must begin by joining the feed to the LNB using the proper screws. Once they are joined, assemble them to the transmitter. You may then assemble and install the antenna. To mount the antenna, you may use different types of supports as long as the diameter of their tube is 76 millimeters. To facilitate the orientation of the antenna, ISPASAT recommends the support to be correctly level. For this process, you may use any of the vast array of tools available on the market for such a task. First, place the reflector support on the dish arm. You may then proceed to join the reflector to its support by using the shortest screws on the upper part, and the longest screws on the lower part and then fasten them using the proper washers and nuts. Now place the small supporting rods between the reflector and its support. You must follow the placement of the specific screws as shown in the video tutorial.
With the specific screws, the next step will be to assemble the feed support to the antenna arm. Once this has been done, you may then place the large supporting rods between the feed support and the reflector of the antenna. You may continue by assembling the antenna arm to the reflector. And lastly, you may proceed by placing the ODU components previously assembled. RF cable connection. You may then connect the TX and RX cables. Leaving enough cable length in order not to overstretch them. The transmission and reception cables should be labelled TX and RX at both ends. Use the outdoor tie wraps, spacing them such that the cables are not left loose. Lastly, protect both connectors from moisture and rain by carefully wrapping them in self-bonding tape. If possible, Connect one of the building's earth wires to the dish arm. Installing the IDU. IDU components. For this configuration, the IDU is made up of a Gillette Sky E VSAT terminal. Connecting the terminal. The IDU has two F connectors for the TX and RX cables that come from the ODU, an Ethernet interface for connecting with the client's computers, and a power cable. Configuration of the computer. In order to configure the terminal, a PC must first be connected via Ethernet cable to the terminal, and after this has been done, you must manually configure the IP assigned to the PC in order to have access to it. In the PC, go to Control Panel Network Connections. Right-click on Local Area Connection and select Properties. The terminals of the Gilad platform have a default IP address, which means that you must configure your computer to an IP address in this range to connect the two systems. After doing so, Access the terminal by entering the correct address in the Internet browser. By doing so, you will access the terminal's home page status, which will show us a summary of its status. Configuration of the terminal. In order to correctly configure the terminal, you must go to the Installer tab. To access this tab, you must enter the user data that you can find in the installation manual on ISPASAT's website. This way you will be able to access the following page. By clicking on Setup, you can see the entire configuration of the terminal which you must fill in according to the parameters that appear in the installation manual using the values provided by the ISP. When the configuration has been completed, click Submit to apply the changes. Orientation of the antenna Before beginning the orientation process, it is necessary to obtain the azimuth, elevation, and polarization values for the GPS position of the installation. These data can be obtained on many different web pages. For example, in the case of Madrid, the values would be azimuth 217.67 degrees north, elevation 35.98 degrees, and polarization 27.77 degrees north. Approximate adjustment. 
For the approximate adjustment of the azimut, you can use the compass to find the orientation. 217.67 degrees if we use the example of Madrid. Completely rotate the block until reaching the best point for the approximate orientation. For the approximate adjustment of the elevation, you must raise or lower the antenna as necessary until placing the notch that is below the nut at the elevation obtained based on our GPS position. Finally, in order to adjust the polarization, rotate the feed until placing it in the correct position. After doing so, access the terminal. In the status section, in the telemetry subsection, we can see the orientation value RX signal ESN0, which will change in real time according to the modifications made to the orientation of the antenna and which, without having yet done any fine tuning, will not be valid. Fine tuning Fine tuning consists of obtaining a more precise orientation. To do so, we must first obtain the best possible value of the RX signal ESN0, which must always be above the minimum required for our GPS position. Azimut Completely rotate the block by using the fine tuning bolts for the azimut until reaching the best value for RX signal ESN0. Elevation Raise or lower the antenna by using the fine tuning bolts in order to achieve the best possible value for the RX signal ESN0. Polarization Slowly rotate the BUC until obtaining the best possible value for RX signal ESN0. Alignment You will first have to make an alignment request through ISPASAT's broadband portal, indicating the date, time, VSAT ID and MAC of the terminal in which the alignment is to be done. Once the alignment request is confirmed, call the ISPASAT call center and state that you wish to align a broadband terminal. An operator will help you carry out the alignment process according to the manual. The operator will therefore ask for a series of parameters and request a carrier in order to obtain the uplink power. They will then tell us to increase or decrease power. When the operator finally approves the installation, the carrier must be disabled. After this has been done, you will have to go to the command section and click on enter installation mode and then click accept. Lastly, press reset VSAT to save and apply the configuration. Synchronization. After restarting and waiting about 5 minutes, the installation of the terminal will be complete. Installation testing Once the previous steps have been carried out, the installation of a VSAT on the Gilat platform is complete and you can try browsing using the PC connected to the terminal.